What's up, YouTube? It's Cards with Michael. Today, another Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms Collector Booster. All right, so today's is sponsored by Yogigo. Oops. Thanks so much, Yogigo, for sponsoring this. But before we get too far into this, I do have a giveaway opening that I need to do. And this is for Fernando for one of the earlier giveaway boxes uh, where we had you guys guess the value of our Modern Horizons 2 Collectors. Fernando, I think was the closest by virtue of just being the lowest. And here's that booster. All right, you got a Yavamaya, got a Garth One-Eyed, and a Verdant Catacombs and a Yavamaya Cradle of Growth. All right, this was one of the better packs. Look at that. All right, and with that, I want to announce that we are going to be returning to Modern Rises 2. And so in the comments, we'll have another giveaway. Congratulations on this one, Fernando. So, you want a Modern Horizons 2 Collector Booster? Well, we're going to open another Collector Box in the upcoming two weeks. And if you're able to guess the value of, uh, you know, the uh, Collector Booster, these could be yours. And also the Set Booster, of course. We're going to open a Set Booster Box. If you're able to guess the value of that, you can win one of these as well. So, in the comments below, mention what you think the value of the next Collector Booster Box you think will be and the next set booster box. And the person that has the closest will win. And yes, you could win both. All right, let's get back to the collector booster, Dungeons and Dragons. This is gonna be the sixth one we open. Uh, filling out this case, we will probably take a break on opening these for a little bit until, I don't know, some market changes. Either the singles kind of rotate a little up or the box prices start going down. Something has to give, right? Something has to give. All right, yo, you go. Pack number one, my brave adventurer. Let's see it. Okay, we start with a precipitous drop. And here we go. Ooh, is it? All right, first foil rare. Bag of devouring. Yikes. All right, all right. Long rest. Reset all those actions, points, and, and skill points. Oswald Fiddlebender, and a Foil Extended Art Triumphant Adventurer. All right, all right. It's a start. It is definitely a start. Next pack. That Drizzt was a nice Foil Rare to pull. Bag of Devouring was a fun little Commander card. Compel Duel. Oh, I didn't realize... That was a card. Ooh, all right. We got a foil mythic here. Lalith Spider Queen. All right. Holy Adventure. Look at this art. Oh my gosh. Miller Boy, you're doing so good. Hobgoblin. Bandit to Lord. We got our showcase cards and our first module card. Lair of the Hydra. These lair cards just are so strong. I have a feeling they're always going to be kind of on the cheap end. Sheshra. All right. And nice, a foil module card, Hive of the Eye Tyrant. This is definitely gonna see play. Whether or not it becomes valuable, that's a different question. Um, maybe if they were exclusive to the collector product, they might be valuable, but they are not. Half Elf Monk, I didn't realize this is one of the creatures. Neat. All right, here we go. Guardian of Faith, our foil spirit rare, immovable rod, right? <laughs> The deck of many things. What a fun little card. Okay, Pixie Guide, Green Dargan, and an Ebon Death Draco Lich. All right, all right. Card is oppressively strong. Blink Dog and a Foil Extended Art Orcus Prince of Undeath. All right, on to the next. Here we go. Spiring Bard. And. Dragon Turtle is our foil rare, all right. Sephiris of the Hidden Ways, Commander card, Instrument of the Bards, all right. Here we go, here we go. Yaris, Silver Mo Silvery Moon Ranger. Okay, okay. Have you completed dungeon, create a 2-2. Powerful. And a Minion of the Mighty, all right. Foil Showcase Rare. On to the next. There we go. We have Minion of the Mighty again. A repeat. Vengeful Ancestor. My first time seeing this. This is a Spirit Dragon. Interesting. 
I think the fact that it's a four mana dragon is already make it kind of playable. Teleportation Circle, Manticore, the Moon Dancer minion of the Mighty Ken. That's a hat trick. That's three of them. And a Foil Extended Art Forsworn Paladin. All right. Of course, we have the Devil Token. These are a little different from what we saw in War of the Spark. All right, guys. Let's get some spice here. Most of the spice are in the Mythic Borderless Foil Dragon. So hopefully we can pull one of those. And we have a Foil Hive of the Eye Tyrant. All right. Ride of the Avalanche. Okay. Purple Sword. The Frost Giant. Blit. Cave of the Frost Giant. Sorry. Cave of the Frost Dragon. And hey, another one. We got two in this box. Foil Den of the Bugbear module. I really do wish that they put them in collector packs only. Um, I think that right now the collector packs do not have a unique amount of stuff to justify buying them. And at the same, on the same end, like the set boosters are just a little bit poor in terms of margin for stores so that there is just no happy medium. Circle of Dreams Drew. Here we go. Here we go. Zorn, Direwolf Prowler, and another one. All right, I think I like this box. Getting these foil modules just feels really nice, and I think these are kind of the cards that are, are gonna become really highly collectible. And we got three of them, Hive, Den, and Cave. We also Lair, but that's non-foil. I do like these module cards. I, you know, I think if, if anything, they, they will just be collectible, if not super playable, i.e., you know, someone will wanna put one of each in their binder. Got a foil wish, wild endeavor, book of vile darkness. We got the pixie guide, the Pegasus, and nice, a borderless dragon, Imrith Desert Doom, probably the best one, at least for constructed play. And yes, here we go, Infernal the Star Mount, foil borderless. That is the spice, and the spice is nice. Four more packs. Let me get some more dragons. Um, maybe there should have just been more dragon tribal in this. And they, they could have just made it like, you know, super dragon tribal. That could have helped. That could have helped. Ranger class, the oppressive two drop. All right. Caddy Bree of Mithril Hall. Didn't even realize that was a card in the set. Tasha's. Yes, yes, yes. Iron Golem. All right. White dragon. Adult gold dragon. Very nice. Borderless dragon. UNT Malison is our foil rogue. All right, three packs left. We did get a borderless dragon. Now the question is, can we pull the Tiamat? Can we pull it? Can we? We got our Meteor Storm, Swarm, Maddening Hex, All right? Dancing Sword, nice, Mimic, the Beholder, Dragon Turtle, and a Gelatinous Cube. All right, two more packs left. Still looking for those borderless dragons. The Tiamat. Here we go. Teleportation Circle. Thorough Investigation. Wizards Spellbook. Ooh, ooh. We have our Dryad. The Battle Hammer. Volo. Claim. And a Foil Extended Art Skeletal Swarming. So for the foiling of the cards, looks nice. Not too many aberrations. Centering on all the cards seems good. Can't complain at least on, on that end. You know what I mean? Here we go. UNT Malison, foil rare. Hurl through hell. Exile target creature. Wow, that's actually really good. That you can just play it again. Or cast it again, even better. Skeletal swarming. Splacer beast. In Azariel, Archduke of Avernus. Very nice, very nice. And Evolving Wilds. Okay, okay. And Delina, Wild Mage, is our final foil. Guys, it's been a good series. Thank you so much for the feedback, the comments, the support. Yo, Yigo, thanks for sponsoring this. We'll see you on the next one.